In this problem, we want to graph this inequality in two variables. So we got um, y is greater than one half x. Okay, if we got a greater than or um, greater than or equal to, then it's an upper right hand triangle. If it's a less than or less than or equal to, it's a lower left. Now, if we got a less than or greater than which was we have greater than here, that means it's a dotted line. Now, um, if you can get y by itself, um, then you can plug in the calculator. Well, obviously we can get y by itself here. It's already by itself on the left side. So, we'll come over to our calculator. We'll press y equals, press clear. I'll put in 1 half x, so I'll do 1 divided by 2 x. Now for most of you, when you press clear, it got rid of this triangle if you had one over on this side. Um, my particular emulator here doesn't do it for whatever reason, so what you should be seeing, I'm going to have to press enter to get it back to that slash. This is what you should be seeing. But you want to press your left arrow key until your flashing cursor is on this first slash. Now once you get it there, what we want is we want the upper right hand triangle. So we're going to press enter one time, make it a thick slash. We'll press enter one more time, make it an upper right hand triangle. Now if you go past it, or if you if you got one of the T84s, the versions where it doesn't automatically clear that on the left side, you have to just keep pressing enter until you get to it. There's not that many choices, six or seven. Now once we get that, then we press graph. And uh, this is almost our answer. The one thing it doesn't give us is whether it's a dotted or solid line. That's the part we have to fill in. We already said it's a dotted line. So it looks something like that. For my purposes, you don't have to be real precise. Just a sketch. And then we're shading um, up here. And that's our graph. Now you may have had some instructors to tell you if it's a greater than or greater than or equal to, you always shade to the right. If it's a less than or less than or equal to, you always shade to the left. Um, that's incorrect. As obvious from this problem, see how this is a greater than? We didn't shade to the right of the line. Um, now there is a way to describe that if you're doing it by hand, um, but that is not the correct way. But unfortunately, a lot of uh, a lot of instructors seem to seem to give students that um, that rule. Anyway, that's our problem.